This video is brought to you by XR Hammer Gaming. Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, XR Hammer, and we're going to be playing some more Dungeon Defenders 2. This episode is going to be an awesome episode. We are going to be doing the very last campaign mission. On normal mode, anyway. I mean, if you guys want to see me run it on hard, I mean, I could do that. You just have to uh, let me know down in the comments below. You know, I don't mind doing it. But, <laughs> yeah. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. We'll go solo on this. It's um, it's just a... It's not as difficult as it was the first time I got here. Because the first time I got here, I think I just hit like level 50, which is the um, max level cap. But... I do believe there's quite a few cutscenes in this as well. So, yeah, we'll watch them. <laughs> as per normal. So, yeah, this little map is set out a bit differently. As we're fighting on an airship. But, you'll see, you'll see. After this is done. Yeah. If you remember in the last one, the squire was pushing those uh, two massive gems over onto here, over onto the airship. See, squire OP. <laughs> I keep telling everybody, he really is overpowered. Ooh. Just in case you didn't know, guys, he's like the main villain in the game and he's been uh, following us through the game the crystal of dragonfall is mine and he consumes its power and becomes the harbinger oh beautiful stuff straight off the bat right yes so we're kind of fighting over two airships. You can fall off, and yes, I normally fall off a lot. Right, there's the enemies can come from here, over there, and over there. Right, but yeah, you don't really have to defend it as such. It's yeah, it's really not as bad as it seems. Right, just a couple of blockades like that couple of blockades down here. Just like, ah, if I remember right, I don't want them that far forward. And, yeah, over to Mr. OP Monk. <laughs> I'm just going to start, I should really make an OP series. Just like, where all of my characters, I just call them all OP everything. Just change their names, really. That'd be funny. Right, but... <laughs> Yeah, like, honestly, a couple of flame towers. That is all you need for flame auras. That is genuinely all you need for the lanes. For the lanes themselves, I mean, like, you can either stick one here, one here. They probably won't get past them. Right, but, yeah. Whoa, I hate it when it does that. It's really weird, and I don't know why it does it. There's, it, there's absolutely no need for it to do it. It just sort of kills you. For no reason. And yeah, I don't like it. Whoa. Tiny little bit of a ship lag there. Cop. Seriously? I wasn't even moving. What is going on? Oh, my days. Right. Please. Please, game. Wow, look at that. That's staggering. Night. Wow. I think I need to get onto my internet provider, you know, guys. Crazy people trying to pull me off with such inadequate internet. Right. It's never normally this bad, honestly. I'm not lying. <laughs> right. Yes, so we'll get these set up. What I'll do is I'll do both of those like that. And then the Harbinger himself spawns in up here. Right, and what we're meant to do is fight him here. He runs off and he tries shooting over here. And right, we need to disable his cannons as well as him. Just 
as soon as his hand comes out of his cannon, we are all good. Yeah, as you can see, it's not really much of a challenge as such. I mean, he is hurting me. Just not as much as I'm hurting him. Right, let's do a bit of provoking. And as you can see, all the little minions are just running past and, um, yeah, not even touching my defences. Yeah. Like I said, they are really nothing to worry about. Whee! So, how do, how do they die up here? I wasn't even doing anything to them. I don't know. Game logic, guys. Game logic. We've all seen it. Wow. Just like that. Thank you very much, game. Just what I wanted. You know, the good old uh, rubber band effect. Thank you. I was going to say, I definitely clicked upgrade then. Right, I need to be really careful, otherwise it's going to, like, band me off the map, isn't it? Again. Wow. Right. So now what we'll do is we'll swap to him. We'll go one, two, three, go back to him, start the wave, and they should all lock onto him. Oh yeah, he also likes to do this, and he'll hit that, and I'm going to show you, right? What he's meant to do is suck you in, and then you get stuck down here, and then you have to work your way back up here and out the hatch. Right? Da-da-da, very easy. <laughs> I'll save this. I must have, like, completed it about 20,000 times. Wow, game. Stop with the uh, lagginess. Please. You're ruining my whole experience. <laughs> right, and that is wave two done. 90 seconds to build. There is a bit of dialogue down there. I mean, feel free to read it. I'm not going to read it all out to you. You know, I'm not a narrator. <laughs> but, yeah, feel free, guys. Read it. It's quite interesting. If you're into that sort of thing. I'm not 100% sure if I am into that sort of thing. You know. I don't know. Right. Do another one like that. Beautiful. And let's commence. Let's again swap to the wizard. We'll go one. Ah, oh, no. Come on, I messed it up. Two, three. Go to squire. Click it. Right. Now he does like a different attack phase. He'll start shooting meteors over. All he's trying to do is fire on that little area there. That's what he's trying to do. And all you've got to do is stop him. I mean, it is a lot, lot, lot easier with a group of four of you. Of course it is, you know. Multiplayer is just one of those things. Where's he going? <laughs> I'm just stood there talking, not paying much attention to him at all. Um, yeah, you know, if there's a multiplayer option in a game, obviously it's going to be so much easier and so much more fun playing as a group. You know, I think that goes without saying. It always is. And it's brilliant. I need a good group of people. Because after this, we are on to the Onslaught and the Chaos Trials. And they are crazy. Like, literally crazy hard to do. Like, I'm not even joking. They are crazy hard to do. Can I upgrade that? Oh, ho, ho, that's going to be a beauty, that one. Right, the last attack phase. All right, we do these ones up here. And then when he spawns in, he spawns in right here on our deck. Which is why I've mass rammed all of these defences up. And then what we've got to do is defeat him. And that's it. Let's go for it. Woohoo! That damage, bro. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Oh. So we didn't defeat him. Hmm. Very interesting. And yeah, he drops you a bunch of cool loot. I'm pretty sure he always drops the shield. Right, which is awesome. It looks awesome. And initially, it will carry you so far. And you always get a nice legendary chest. Which is beautiful. Thank you for the money. It's all about the money. 
and there we go. That's it. So, personally, guys, I think this, well, this is the best setup for fighting him. You don't want your defences up here and stuff like that. It's, it's pointless. So you just want a couple of simple barricades here. You could even use the um, wizard and use the arcane barriers. You know. I'm pretty sure they're not as strong as my other stuff. Let me just have a quick check, actually, while I'm here. You know, I'm interested now. What's that one? A three star, it's a 1.2 million health. And that is not far off. You know, they're quite good. But, yeah, the point I'm getting to, if your barricades aren't great, or if you prefer the apprentice, you can use the arcane barriers. You could even use your flamethrower talents, you know. But I would highly recommend the flame auras. You know, just pop one down there, one down there. You know, sort of keep them nice and close. Um, when the Harbinger lands here, he will destroy everything around it. Which is why initially I put my barricades like at the bottom of the steps. And then I moved them back because I remembered. <laughs> but I didn't want to let... You know, everybody knows straight away off the bat. Would have kind of spoiled it. Um, but yeah, that is personally my best setup that I've found. Because, I mean, I did run off initially and put defences up here, up there, up there. And then you find out he's firing at this. And you're like, no, stop it, please. Yeah, you know, it was tough going. And I only destroyed two of his cannons. That sucks. But, yeah, guys. Right, let's um, watch this last last cutscene the sun rises on a perfect summer morning yes it does how is there beauty on such a painful day yes the kingdom is destroyed and the harbinger's shadow remains oh Where has he been? what will he do next the heroes are left to dwell on these questions yes the they answers are answers to which might very well be found within the crystal of dragonfall Ooh. the prince turns away from his broken home the magnitude of his father's death weighs heavily. But somewhere in the sadness, he must find purpose and strength. For they will all face what comes next. Yes. Yes, we will. And that would be... The Awful Onslaught. I earned, guys, 267 XP. And 5,000 gold. That is awful. Uh, genuinely awful. <laughs> I will not be doing this for XP again. Let me assure you. I mean, early game. Yeah. Well, early-ish game, you know. Depending. If you're playing with four ban, a four-man team, and one of them's, like myself, you know, quite far on, it should be really good for you to farm that level. But, right, I'm going to give you all a little sneak peek into what we're going to be doing. Right, what we'll be doing in the next episode is, as you can see guys, I have been playing Onslaught, but it's crazy difficult. Right, I'm not even going to lie, it's crazy difficult. You start off on floor one, you do floor one, that's fine. You go to floor two and you have to complete two maps straight away, like one after another. And then so on and so forth. So like, floor three, it's crazy. Like, it really is crazy. But what I've been doing is the Chaos Trials. Because they are nuts. They are genuinely mad. And as you can see, is it going to... Yep, nobody's on. <laughs> and Chaos Trials 2, more than likely, nobody there. Right. <laughs> As per usual. I still haven't unlocked Chaos Trials 3 yet. Because I need to win 4 Chaos Trials 2. Or Onslaught Floor 6. Yeah. It's going to be taking me a while. Let me assure you. Um, and yeah, you've got Incursions. Which, I don't know, they're alright. Personally, they're not for me. You know, I think they're a bit easy. Also, we've got the Masteries. Right, now, I have only tried this one map because it was slightly irritating. Right, you've got, you can get a maximum of five stars per map. So, like, 
you have to meet certain criteria to do it. So survive all the waves, no main core, fall below 90% health. Right? It's fair enough. No defences are destroyed, which I don't actually understand how my defence got destroyed, but it did, which is why I haven't tried redoing it. It was very, very, very frustrating. And finish each combat phase in under 180 seconds, which is, you know, that's more than enough time. It's like three minutes. And, yeah, if you can earn all the stars in the same attempt, you get your full five stars. You know. But that could be interesting, you know, we could be doing that for a series. Can we five star? Or how to five star? You know, could be doing it. Ooh, I never realised there's new maps. Ooh, beautiful. The Unholy Catacombs, Buried Bastille, Molten Citadel, Crumbled Bulwark, and the Forest Biome. Beautiful. I'm definitely going to have to try those out. But... Yeah, for now guys, I'm going to end the video off. I really hope you all enjoyed it. You know, I was uh, defeating the Harbinger. If you did, remember to leave a like and a comment down below. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.